Hello everyone. Bongo Green Primary School will be participating in the Sony Creative Science Award organized by the Singapore Science Centre this year. The objectives of the award are to inspire creativity from a young age by transforming scientific concepts into fascinating toys while encouraging hands-on abilities and entrepreneurial skills. Students can participate in pairs or individually on your own. The primary one and two students would be participating in the junior whiz kit category, while the primary three to six students would be participating in the whiz kit category. For the junior whiz kit category, students may create any toy that must incorporate twist and turn as a functional component of the toy and not a decorative component. The maximum size of your toy must fit an A3 box. Any toy bigger than that will be rejected. Students may create any toy that demonstrates any scientific concepts. The maximum size of your toy must fit an A3 box. Any toy bigger than that will be rejected. Remember that the toy should be creative, original and sturdy. Here are some common toys to avoid. Commercial toys bought from the toy shop, catapults, jack-in-the-box, purchased or assembled toys from DIY kits like Lego, Little Bits, etc. or workshop toys. Now, what should you do if you are interested to participate in this competition? Firstly, get the toy proposal template from your form teacher. In the proposal, you will have to include a drawing of your toy design with neat and clear labels, the materials you are going to use to make the toy. You are encouraged to use recycled materials, a brief explanation of how the toy works. And most importantly, you have to tell us the scientific concept you're going to use to make this toy. After your proposal is selected by a science teacher, you will then start to make your toy. Your toy will go through another selection round. If your toy is selected, you will need to improve on your toy with the guidance of your teacher and finally record a video to demonstrate how the toy works. Here are some important deadlines to take note. In Term 2 Week 8, submit your toy proposal to your form teachers for the P1 and 2 students and science teachers for the P3 to 6 students. In Term 2 Week 10, students whose proposals are selected will be asked to make their toy during the June holidays and submit their toy when they come back to school in Term 3 Week 1. The final submission of toys and presentation videos from finalists will be collected by Term 3 Week 1. Students whose toys have passed the shortlisting round will be notified to attend the final judging round which consists of a toy-making challenge and an interview session in Term 3, Week 6. So, what do you submit once your proposal is selected? Other than submitting your toy, you also need to submit your creative journal in the form of PowerPoint slides. The slides should include the scientific explanation behind your toy, how your toy works, photos of you in action, and a reflection. Are you ready to use your creativity and bring your amazing ideas to life? Welcome back to the 24th edition of the Sony Creative Science Award the largest national toy-making competition for primary school students. It aims to engage students in building something tangible, 
and in the process, develop that connection with science that comes from hands-on work. We think that there are important lessons to be learned from building and experimenting with things in the real world, having it fail, and then figuring out how to fix it. This year's tagline, Imagination Made Real, speaks profoundly about students' creativity and how their imagination could be harnessed and translated into interesting, innovative and practical toys. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, the standard and quality of toys were not compromised as schools continued to provide their students with mentorship and guidance for the toy-making journey. We are heartened to see many toy submissions that are interesting and demonstrate good scientific concepts. The process of creating a toy requires brainstorming, planning, as well as trial and error, while empowering the students to translate their creative ideas to life. The main challenge is to create a toy that demonstrates scientific concepts, yet at the same time, is fun and engaging to play with. With each run of the competition, we see a growing spirit of innovation and we are amazed by the students' creations. Building the toy was very fun. It was also quite challenging. I had to research on my science concepts. I also had to be patient and put on my problem-solving hat when faced with obstacles. I learned to choose suitable materials and change my design to make it work. My toy is smashing planes when you can control a plane to avoid obstacles. I have learned a lot about electronic circuits and how to wire different components together. So we work with wires made out of different flexibilities. We use the stronger and thicker wire to create the woodcutter's arms and legs. The thinner and more flexible wire, we use it to create the lever system. My toy demonstrates the attraction between magnets and magnetic materials. I learned to not give up and try my best at all times. I wanted to see what I can create using different scientific concepts each year. I have combined elements of play and exercise in my toy this year. I enjoyed making the attachments in my experience of making my toy. I get to think of many different ideas of making the attachments on the spinners. The gyros were all very friendly and it was a very comfortable experience using technology to present my toy. The scientific concepts are energy conversion and magnetic forces. We got the inspiration from a few YouTube videos about magnets and Newton's cradle. I learned to persevere because the outcome is worth every single ounce of my effort. One of the challenges I faced is to come up with a meaningful toy that is enjoyable to play with. Though my end product is not perfect, I will not stop trying. I need to really think about what I want to make. Furthermore, I have to do research on it. It will not only improve my science, I will also improve my creativity and my imagination. I would encourage friends that like science to join this competition as you get to explore beyond the classroom. This competition helped me to learn new concepts and conductors and insulators. The most enjoyable part was Seeing my toy transform from nothing to something. The toy making journey was lots of fun. It is an opportunity for me to express my imagination. And it is lots of fun when we get to learn new things in science. Engaging students with hands-on experience such as SESA motivates them to develop new ways of thinking, encourage curiosity and analysis. These two years, due to the pandemic, we find that the parents' involvement is a lot higher and parents' feedback is that they could actually spend more meaningful time with their kids to create the toys as well. Learning and appreciating science beyond classroom will help to develop their independent thinking and creativity, which is what the knowledge-based economy of the future needs. To this end, SCSA hopes to continue this meaningful journey of discovering science with the active collaboration between Ministry of Education, Science Centre Singapore, Sony, school teachers, parents, and most of all, children themselves. Come join SCSA. Come join SCSA. Come join SCSA. Come join SCSA.
Here are some of the submissions by our students in 2021. Remember, you only need to submit your proposal now. Do not make your toy yet. Good luck in your toy making journey!